Hi everyone, welcome to our new series, Bangkok Drinking Map, where we explore creative, artisanal cocktail bars that offer unconventional yet delicious drinks. In each episode, we'll introduce a few bars and share our thoughts on the concept of the bar, creativity of the menu, taste of the cocktails, and the charisma of their mixologists to help you decide where to drink next. In this first episode, we'll take you to Chinatown for some sips at the 59th of Asia's 50 best bars. A Western-style speakeasy hidden in a Chinese restaurant, and the 12th Zodiac-themed bar that is set on fire at 10 p.m. Forget about the classic menu. Let's dive into the inventive cocktails Bangkok has to offer. Away on a quiet street just off Chinatown's bustling Yawala Road, this five-story Sino-Portuguese building has been housing the family business of Potong since 1910. Although Potong in Chinese means regular or simple, what lies inside is anything but regular or simple. Over the span of four generations, Potong has transformed from a traditional Chinese herbal medicine producer into a widely acclaimed fine dining restaurant. Our journey through time was carried by this tiny lift that allowed maximum two passengers, installed within the old loading shaft of the building. The lift took us up to the secret room above Potong Restaurant, where the opium bar is located. Also, allegedly, the den for smoking opium when it was legal. Today, no illegal substances are involved, so don't be alarmed by the word opium on their menu. However, the essence of opium lingers on. Reimagined into the concept of liquid serenity, developed by a team of talented mixologists, the concept of liquid serenity blends the magic of smell, taste, and visuals into a single drink and makes you question your senses. Because what you see may not match what you smell, and what you smell translates into something entirely different on your taste buds. The result is an extensive menu featuring over a hundred drinks, categorized by intensity, taste, and base liquor. It includes a vast library of famous brands from around the world, house-made alcohols infused with local ingredients like pandan and grass jelly, creative takes on classic drinks such as granadalada ha ha, a creamless colada, and the award-winning signature drinks that will quite literally make you crave just one more sip. It's real oyster. Wow! I was wondering what this is. <laughs> yeah, we just measured out. Wow! So, amazing. Yeah. So I would highly recommend you to just take this out first and uh-huh. just take a sip after this. Just do back and forth. Okay. Yeah. Just okay. Repeat the same. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. The oyster salt balances the sourness of the jalapeno pico brine so well and adds a subtle seafood touch to the already rich and flavorful margarita. It's easy to see why this cocktail won the Thailand Control Margarita Competition. The amazing cocktails are complemented with snacks from the Michelin-starred restaurant downstairs. All in all, Opium Bar offers a five-star experience that's worth revisiting again and again. In case you thought that Yawala Road is all about street food and restaurants, Widershins is here to break the continuum. Named after the German word for counterclockwise, Widdershins symbolizes a contrary experience of everything but Chinese within Chinatown. The secret hideout is camouflaged by the Chinese dim sum restaurant Lao Deng at 438 Yawala Road. Following the funny quotes, we walked up to the third floor where the speakeasy is hidden. Look for the antique clock on the bookshelf. It's the door leading to another realm. The dark academia decor is kind of reminiscent of Diagon Alley from Harry Potter, yet the space remains intimate with a relaxing vibe. The welcoming bartenders would hand out tarot cards for guests to choose from, adding a touch of magic to the evening. The compact menu features traditional flavors with a touch of innovation, making it intriguing for seasoned cocktail enthusiasts and approachable for mixology beginners. The click I tried 
garnished with pandan powder and small roses, perfectly reflects its ingredients. Overall, it's a great place for a casual hangout after work or unwinding after a large Chinese dinner. In fact, we didn't find Twelve Rossi; it found us. As we were roaming around Chinatown looking for the next bar, the staff from Twelve Rossi beckoned us inside. It's a zodiac-themed bar with cocktails crafted around the twelve zodiac signs. In the beginning, I was skeptical about the quality of the cocktails here, as I personally find the zodiac theme a bit cheesy. But I was soon proven wrong. When in doubt, go with your own star sign. In my case, Gemini. The mixologist didn't hold back from flexing his impressive skills, which immediately boosted my confidence in this place. Gemini. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. The strawberry taste and rose aroma carried by the light-bodied base made it a sweet and refreshing first drink. My favorite cocktail of the night was Cancer. The combination of salted caramel and butterscotch was rich and smooth, and a subtle hint of crab flavor perfectly captured the essence of the zodiac. The super friendly and confident mixologist didn't shy away from the challenge of customized drinks either. So I asked for a spicy and sour drink, which turned out quite good as well. Yeah, oh, that doesn't sound like lost to me. <laughs> This one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Enjoy. Cheers. Yes. Not only was there a game where losing meant being punished with free shots, but there was also a fire show starting at 10 p.m. Making the experience even more memorable, I would recommend Twelve Rossi as a place to savor well-crafted cocktails, enjoy the bartender's performance and passion for mixology, and throw your wild ideas at him to see what he comes up with. That's all for the first episode of Bangkok Drinking Map. Which bar is on your list, and have you visited any of them already? Let us know in the comment section. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more Bangkok lifestyle updates. If you want to support us to make more videos like this, please consider buying me a coffee at the link in the description below. Your support means the whole world to us. Thank you for staying with us till the end, and we'll see you in the next bar. Bye.